Ye who hold the sacred sword, ye who have returned to the appointed spot, if you wish to interrupt your adventure, which is a game, again, please speak to me, the one you have marked your proof. The Wow, I don't think I've ever actually shown that text entirely. So, there you go. Hey everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcoming you to episode 61. Um, oh, damn it! I didn't mean to fight you. Well, yeah, welcome to episode 61 of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, and I guess we're starting off with this asshole. I didn't really plan on that, because all I really plan to do right now in this episode was side quests, mainly ones that take place in the game graveyard. Uh, yeah. I kind of castle the key to blah, 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 blah. Alright, so... Uh, to do more stuff in the graveyard, we've already done everything we can do there on the first night, but you can, as I understand it, do things there on all three nights, and they're all different things. So I'm going to go ahead and advance to the night of the second day, so we can do whatever's there at that time. Because that's just the way I roll, man. So let's go. Alright, there we go. So it is now night of the second day. Ooh, the moon's getting so much closer. You can see it in that camera shot now. It's crazy. And we'll just hop down. Ah! God damn it. And then we'll head over to it. Actually, does this river go anywhere? I seem to remember it going somewhere in like my previous playthrough, so let's just make this a bit faster. I don't know. Oh, this might be something else that I'm not able to do. Oh, what the? Oh, okay, this is the place that goes by Sakantide, but what's down here? I'm just gonna take off my Zora's mask, because I don't... Oh, never mind. Okay. What's this? What? Uh. What? 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 The? What in the world is going on? Oh my! Uh. Uh. Huh? Okay, let's try this again and just not go floating down the river. That was... <laughs> I don't believe what I just saw. That was crazy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I was like in the middle of being shocked by the fact that I was actually in like the southern swamp. And then it like comes up with that scene with Kume or whatever it was. And it's just like, dear lord, what is going on? What is going on in this crazy world? Oh my god. Oh, damn it. I was trying to block you. Oh, but you just, I guess you cock blocked my block. So, uh, there you go. Yeah, so we're just gonna head over to the graveyard now and do what we can do there. Yeah, essentially, I think every night there's a different grave that the stout children will open for you. And, like, the first one is the thing with the, where you get the Song of Storms. And then the second one, I think you get a heart piece in it, I'm not sure. But I guess we'll find out, won't we? We indeed will. Alright, man, the house is still on fire. Jeez. Uh, I was looking around my house today, and I found, like, a round die. Uh, I found, like, a round die. It's, like, really weird. It's, like, a die, but it's, like, a ball. And I'm holding it right now, actually. It's so weird. It's, like, a die that you roll for a board game. What the hell am I doing? Okay, so I did that whole Skull Kita thing there, just again, because I didn't feel like being a total D-bag to him, even though he's like completely fictional and he's like evil and stuff. And I kind of also wanted to see what's in this chest after you get the captain's hat. I imagine it's just rupees. Oh, wait, well that's, that's a kick in the ass, isn't it? Anyways, yeah, so that was fun, but it was completely, I was just being completely stupid. What you really want to do when you come here is you need to head over and talk to the these style children were while actually wearing the captain's hat. If I didn't already have this thing, then that's what I would have done. Where are they? They're over here. No, that's the wrong guy. Damn, where are the one? Oh, here they are. Oh, by the way, doing that skull key thing just now reminded me to tell you guys, hey, the, the war has ended, so you can just go do whatever now. I don't know, go chill in the Great Bay, whatever. Or open the grave, that's fine too. Open the grave! Just tear it to shreds! My goodness. And we'll just drop on down after them. Whee! Where do they even go when they come to this grave? Do they just like hop in the pit and see if there's anything down there? Because, guys, there's there's nothing down there. I can tell you right now. Yeah. Oh, and this grave is also interconnected with the first grave that we went to on the first night, so that's kind of cool. 
Got some rupees here. Um, a pot. Uh, is that all? Can I slice? Does this make a sound? Funny sound? What? Oh, okay. I see. Wait, I think I might remember this grave. Is this the room I think it is? Oh my god, this is that room. This room is complete ass. It sucks so much. It sucks the moon's tears through a Deku stick. That's how bad it sucks. Alright, everything's like invisible in this room. All these keys, all the sculptures, everything. And yes, they're actually called keys this time around, not bad bats. Because they're, they're both in this game and they have differences. The keys are like kind of lighter. Why is the camera all glitchy? Wait, can you go away? Oh my god. Yeah. Oh man. I get surprised every single time that one of them flies right across the room. Okay, get, get back here. I'm not done with you. There. That's what you get for trying to fly away. Not that if you, like, didn't fly away, I still would have killed you. Uh, hello. Alright, and there's this, like, one guy right here. He's just like, oh yeah, I'm totally gonna block him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save the day. Oh, I'm dead. Never mind. And what's over here? There is pots with nothing. Great. And more pots with almost nothing. And, okay, this wall's making a funky sound, and it has, like, a crack-type thing in it, so... Use the bomb mask. <laughs> I was about to use bombs, but my plans got kind of thwarted there, as you can see. Oh my goodness, I've got so much saliva right now. And now we got to face against the Dark Nut, I guess, for our heart piece. Our just-deserved heart piece. Yeah, this guy's not too bad. Pretty much identical to the one we faced in the first grave. Except this one's white instead of black. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. They always get me with that one right after the stupid cutscene. Because they attack too quickly after the cutscene. Oh, I hopped to the side that time instead of backwards. That kind of worked better. Well, if I ever face off against another one of those guys, then that's what I'll do. Hop to the side. And that's what you should do, too, my friends. And this is... Oh, get the bombs. Yes. Now I actually have some. And this should be our heart piece. Or maybe it's the Iron Knuckle Mask. That would be fun. Just turn to an Iron Knuckle and go wherever. And I collect four. I need three more for another heart container. How many heart pieces do we have left to get? I think we only have like seven more heart pieces to get. Because we're going to get one from the Stone Tower Temple. I have three more to make another heart container. Uh Oh no, I have like... Was 12? 11 maybe? Because... To... Yeah, I should have 11 more to get. Uh, oh, and this guy's still invisible and everything, but I can still beat him down. Beat him down! Beat him down! He's an ass clown! There we go. Oh, man. Jeez, I'm having so much fun recording this right now. It's like, what time is it? It's like 1.48 a.m. And I'm just having a blast, I'm telling you. You know, it's just it's just so fun to record this and know that like a hundred, a few hundred people are just going to watch me being stupid. It's really, it's really kind of funny to think about, actually, but it's awesome to think about, too, because... I don't know. You guys are just awesome that way, I guess. Oh, no! I thought I was going to hop into the pit there, for sure. Alright, so... Now, we have to do one more thing here on the night of the third day, I think. And this one is going to be a little bit more involved. We're going to actually get an empty bottle from it, I think. Which is completely weird, that you would get an empty bottle in a graveyard, but... I don't know, I guess it makes sense, because it's, it's Zelda. 24 hours remain, and we're about to make it so that only 12 hours remain. That's half the time. Here we go. Man. And here we go. Originally, I think that the song of Double Time wasn't even in this game, and they actually had, like, the song of... Uh, it was the Sun song in this game. And it made the clock go, like, super fast until the next 12 hour cycle it was really funny I like saw a video of that one time and the clock just moved so fast and I just laughed at that because things moving fast are funny all right yeah these guys are still here flapping their jaws all about told you you could leave but I guess it's good that you're still here because now you can open the grave for me man what are they even doing here like are they supposed to be at war or something who are they at war with I don't know, maybe if I listen to that Skullkita some more, then I would know who they're at war with. Alright, this grave is, it looks like it's completely separate from the other ones. And, if I remember, down here there is Dompe! Hey, hello! 
Halo? No. You? Who are you? I can't see because it's too bright. It, wh what? Uh, you're not a ghost, are you? Mm? A fairy? Oh, it's the fairy's light. In that case, it's just perfect. This isn't Dompe's voice. What the hell? I came to looking for the royal family's legendary treasure, but my torch has gone out. I'm sorry, but could you walk in front of me and light the way? Please? Um... What if I say no? I'm not going to give up. I'll keep asking you until you say yes. Oh, fair enough. That's how I got court. That's how I courted my current wife. You know. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> oh my! <lo> <laughs> what the <laughs> I've never seen that text before. Oh my god! That's. <laughs> oh, who knew, who even knew Dom? I had a wife. Oh my! You. <laughs> Good lord, man! You are you're a crazy fool. Alright, so essentially you just gotta target him this whole time and lead him to these soil patches and stuff. <laughs> it's how I courted my current wife. <laughs> I, I'm never gonna get over that. That's That needs to become a meme somehow. I don't know. Oh, there's nothing here. Yes, yeah, essentially you're just looking for, I think... Uh, yeah, I watched like a video of this uh, a pretty recently, so I actually know what to do instead of fumbling around. I probably wouldn't have even known to L-target this guy if it weren't for that video. I would have just been... Yeah, but essentially you're looking for... Did I just hear a wallmaster? I don't know. You're looking for three different blue flames that are buried here. And usually there's one on the ground level here, and then there's two so soft soil patches up higher, and I hear that wallmaster again. I imagine it's a pretty bad idea to, like, I get you. Uh, oh, there's a red rupee. Uh, I'm not going to go for the red rupee. My wallet's already full. You know what I need is a bigger wallet, but we can't get that in this game, can we? I don't know, we'll find out next time. Mm. Oh, there's something strange about this spot. How, do you, how can you tell it looks exactly the same as the other spots? Alright, there's the first flame, so that's what they look like. You can't put these ones in bottles, though, and like burn the red ice or whatever. No, you can't do that, not in this game. Because there is no red, in, red ice in this game. Yeah. I'm just gonna check all the ones on the ground level though here because before I've seen people like they get actually get two on the ground level, two different flames, and then only one of the soft soil patches in the air has a flame in it. Uh, and if that were to happen to me, I would just like freak out because like, oh my god, there's supposed to be two up here. No. All right, is that all the soft soil patches? In I think it is actually. Uh, yeah, there's only like four on the ground here, so. I guess we gotta guide this guy over to the switch now, so that you can rise up. Oh my goodness, I'm already up to like 13 minutes here. Oh, but I have some of that to cut out too, so that's fine. Come on, Dompe. Maybe if I put on the captain's hat, you'll run a bit faster, huh? Oh, I haven't even shown off that scene, have I? I need to show that off eventually. Alright, so he's just gonna float on up, and we're just gonna leave him there to float. Uh, you know, like a turd in the toilet. And we're just gonna head up here. And wait for him to come. Oh, that's what she said. <laughs> that was too easy to make. Oh man, but sometimes you just gotta go for the easy jokes because you have got crap for commentary. Boy, I tell you. Man, I'm sounding so much more. I'm sounding like so much like Nintendo Capri Sun saying stuff like "Boy, I tell you." What the hell is wrong with me? I need to become more creative, more original. Alright, so there's the second flame, and the third one is going to be clear across the room on the upper level, so we got to get him to drop down. I think he'll just fall down his own. There you go. Hey, where'd you go? I'm right here, Dompe. God damn it. You really must be blind. But he said he can't see because it's too bright. Is that is that from the fairy's light or what? Because it's, it's not bright in here at all. It was brighter in Egos to Icon's room when the curtains were closed. Alright, oh, here's the switch right in here. It's not even a switch, it's an elevator. And now he's on that, so let's climb up and meet him at the top. I've got to cross his path. No, dude! Oh, wow. I didn't expect that, but that's one way to get up, I guess. Oh, I need to take a drink here. Oh, no, I'm out of Coke. Well, maybe there's like a tiny little bit left. Because sometimes it feels empty, but you know, you know, there's just got to be something left in there, right? Hmm. And what do you know, there was, too. Didn't help much, but it's something. This video's not going to go on for too much longer anyways. I'm almost done with this asshole. 
and he's gonna dig up the final flame. Here we here we go. Through the fire and the flames, Dompe carries on. And they all join together in the middle. And there's your treasure. How do you like it, Dompe? Oh, the leader of the ghosts. <laughs> now you run fast. Oh, get get down from here. We don't want to be fighting him on that platform up there, because that would probably be bad. All right, so yeah, this guy's basically no different from the one in the beneath the well place. Just gotta shoot him five times. I think maybe even less for this guy. I'm not sure. And you don't even need to bottle him here, because no one's ever gonna need him. I guess technically you could actually come to the graveyard before going to beneath the well, and you could have a Poe in a bottle before um, before going there, and you could just completely bypass that one room. So that's one strategy, possibly. Because I think this is actually the only other big Poe in the entire game. And he's dead now. Well, re-dead. And there's our treasure. And I spoiled it before. It's going to be an empty bottle, I know. But will the empty bottle have something inside of it? Like, uh, Sculptula Piss? I don't know. Hopefully not. That would be nasty ass. And we get the empty bottle! Saves I saved items in, in it and use them with C. Yep. And now to get out of here, uh, you know what? I'm going to put this guy in our new bottle just for the fun of it. And yeah, we have five bottles now. Do you believe that? And there's still room for one more here. So, can't wait to get that. Yeah, I'm just going to put this guy in the bottle that we got for beating him. Just to torment him. Because I'm just cruel like that. <laughs> uh, that probably sent an air, a puff of air into the microphones. And now it's going to make like a sound. hate it when that happens. It always annoys me. Alright, where's Dompe? Oh, he's under the bed. Uh, I ain't seen nothing. I don't know nothing. You know, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. So this has been like a 17 minute video. I think it's time to call it quits here. Uh, let's just get that for fun. Jeez, I got all of them in one strike. Look at that. So, that's it for the graveyard side quest. We'll probably never have to come here again, but you never know. I might just for fun, because I like this place. So, thank you everyone for watching, and until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you. Die! And good night.